Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I've got some amazing new themes from Hursty. These are for Emulation Station, RetroPie. Uh, anything you run Emulation Station on, I'm running it on PC, but you can do this on the Raspberry Pi, the Odroid, so on and so forth. Um, these themes are awesome. There are nine in total I'm going to be showing you today. So this is going to be a bit of a long video, but I'm telling you it's well worth it. These, these themes are just very well done. If you're familiar with Percy's themes, you know he's got a lot of them out there, and he does quality, quality work. I'm going to leave a link in the description to Hursty's YouTube channel. Make sure you go ahead, hit the like button on his video, subscribe to his channel, and all that good stuff. So here we go. This first one is called Cyber, and Cyber is really cool. It's like a neon um, Tron style theme. So I am actually doing doing this video on my son's new build called the Titan build, and I went with Emulation Station uh, as opposed to a track mode this time. So let's go ahead and check it out. So you can see your box art fades to your snap. You've got the system logo, you've got your game logo, and then you've got the release year, the genre, the developer, how many players, as well as the metadata, so all the information on the game that you need. These themes, they all cover tons of consoles, collections, and all that good stuff. They're available on the ES themes um, in, in RetroPie, so you can go ahead and download those from there. Show you Nintendo. Just really, really nice. So this one is called Cyber. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next one. Dragon Ball Z. So this one's really nice as well. You get the same vertical wheel. Tells you how many games you've got. Artwork looks fantastic. So I think my son only has one Wii game, but we'll check it out. So nice and easy to read the games list. Again, uh, you get the game info. You're getting your box art fading to snap. Just like that. Um, how many players, the release, the genre, um, as well as the wheel art. Super Mario Maker. So really, really nice. So if we go through the ROM list, you can see it's just nice and easy to read. I wanted to pick one that had a little more games to it. I'm missing the wheel art for my Batman Forever. i got to fix that. But this one is Dragon Ball Z, and I think it's a great one, um, especially if you're into it or your kids are into it. Um, one thing I like about Hearst is he's got numerous themes, so some are cartoon-based, some are game-based, some are uh, like the you know just just nice and clean looking. And that, that I'm very into a nice clean looking theme, um, but he just does things for everyone. There's a whole a whole bunch of different selections that you could do. So this one is Evil Resident. And this one's really cool too. So you get the umbrella, and this one, this one has a horizontal wheel, which I think looks really nice. Artwork's very well done, nice and clean. Again, um, it's using a Resident Evil style uh, font. And again, we're getting, I like that badge, that's really cool. So we're getting the box art fading to snap. Uh, again, developer genre released, um, how many players your wheel art, and then a, some information about each and every game. So just, just really, really nice and clean. I really like it. So this one is Evil Resident. The next one is Hursty Spin. So Hursty Spin, I not sure if this one's readily available just yet, but it should be in the coming days. So this one is more geared towards the Pi. Um, as you can see, it does not cover GameCube, Wii, Wii U, so on. But it does cover Genesis, 64, Nintendo, PSP, 32X, Super Nintendo. So this is more geared towards the Raspberry Pi. And I'll show you Genesis here. And again, just nice and clean, easy to read. Um, I like that there's the blue font color for your game description, something different as opposed to just all black. 
Uh, this one really stands out to me um, as far as anyone who likes hyperspin. I mean, this is exactly what it, it, it would look like if hyperspin was ported over to Emulation Station or, or whatnot. But just just really clean, and uh, I really like I really like this way this looks. It pops. It's nice and bright. And when you have this on a big screen, it it looks really really good. Um, I I just got this one, so it it's not available on the ES themes yet, but it will be very soon. I spoke to Hursty, and he said it will be available as soon as possible. The next one is Incredibles. So again, nice. Um, showed this one to my son. He really liked it. He thought it was really cool. And uh, I enjoy it myself. So this one's covering, again, there, there's more systems that these themes cover and tons of collections. I just don't have everything done yet. My son's uh, new Titan build that we're working on here is actually just a work in progress. So this one, nice and easy for the game list. Um, you get the how many players, the year it was released, the genre, and then game information. And this one is The Incredibles. Next up, we've got Mario Melee. So Mario Melee is another one that is a horizontal um, wheel. And you can see the fireballs coming out of Mario's hand. Just really, really cool. I should go left. That way it looks like I'm shooting at the guy. Uh, but really, really well done. I'll show some N64 here. So again, box art fades to snap. How many players, the year it was released, the genre. And then you get your game information as well. Um, everything is easy to read. I really like that. Uh, your wheel art pops up there. Nice and clean. Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, that's an excellent, excellent game. Check that out. So the next one we're going to go to is Pac-Man. Here we go. So it looks like Pac-Man's eating his little pellets, ready to rock and roll. Let's check out the games list. And, you know, I'm really a big fan of the, I get the box art, and it fades into the game snap. One thing I really like about it is the fact that my son can look at the game snap and say, oh, that looks cool, right? Because with the box, they all pretty much look cool. The artwork was there to sell the game. But having the video snaps there definitely helps out, especially with kids, and in my eyes anyways. With my son, he sees, like, Battletoads, and he's like, I have to play this. This looks amazing, or I'm not interested. Um, one game that I really like. Brawl Brothers, classic game. But this one's Pac-Man, really nice looking, really like this. Uh, I'd like this as an arcade setup, I think. That's the way I'd go with it. Um, but it also works for tons of different um, systems as well as collections. So next up after Pac-Man, we have Space Invaders. And this is another one where I would put this on an arcade cabinet, but that's just me. But again, it covers, I mean, it's covering Wii U. GameCube, Genesis, and it covers tons of systems. I don't have any PlayStation 2 in here yet or PlayStation, but I will be getting there soon. This one has your rating. The year it was released, how many players, the genre, as well as game information, box art, and then at the top you have your, your system logo. So really, really cool. I like the rating. I like how it's it's the little Space Invaders dude. And then right next on your um, game list, you have the Space Invader dude next to the game that you're selecting. So really, really nice, really clean, and runs really well on the Pi as well. I want to make a point of saying that these run great on the Pi. I'm doing this on a PC, but they run excellent on the Raspberry Pi as well. So after Space Invaders, we've got two more. So we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this one here, I was a huge turtle fan when I was a kid. Um, they released the whole set in a <clears throat> uh, the turtle van with all the seasons on DVD. I had to have that. I still have it in the box. 
um, as well as I have all my DHSs and things like that. Let's go to PSP. And you can see there, there's Michelangelo. But again, your wheel art's there, box art fades to snap. You've got the PSP pizza up in the left corner and just an, a nice games list. So this one is TMNT, and there is the TMNT game. It's actually a really good game for the PSP. Make sure you check that out. And last but not least, uh, this one is actually a custom one that Hursty was kind enough to make for my son. But you can get the regular version as well, and it's called Minecraft. This one is readily available, ready to rock and roll. So what's custom about this is it says Titans Minecraft. This is Titans theme. This is the one he wants on his build. Um, I just switched it up to show you guys some other ones that Hursty has done. Um, but this is what Titans build actually is going to look like once it's completed. Uh, we've been working on this for quite a while together, trying to get the games lists. Um, and I'm trying to point him in the direction of certain games. And plus he knows a lot of games that he likes himself. But Titans Minecraft, when he saw this, it, it, he just he was so excited, and I just want to say thank you very much, Hursty, for this. Um, Titan loves it. I think it's amazing as well. I, it's just it's an excellent, excellent theme. Um, I really appreciate this, man. When we go in. We've got players released, genre, developer. Um, you've also got the rating there. You've got your wheel art, box art fades to snap. You've got the little Minecraft sword that picks each game, which Titan thought was really cool. <laughs> um, just really, really clean. Kid Chameleon, one of my one of my favorite games growing up, and I didn't even have a Genesis for a long time. I had to play it at a friend's house. But these are nine new themes from Hursty. I'm gonna have a video coming up with one more um, in the very near future. But I'm going to go through the list so you guys know the names of these. So it was Cyber, Dragon Ball Z, Evil Resident, Incredibles, Mario Melee, Pac-Man, Space Invaders, TMNT, and Minecraft. So make sure you go to Hursty's channel, give him a bunch of likes, subscribe, and do that over here as well if you want. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.